Evening, Blake. Uh, what have these two games uh, shown your group in terms of how you stack up against Toronto so far? No, I, I think we, uh, I mean, we don't judge ourselves by the other team. I think we're focused on our game. Uh, you know, obviously Toronto's had a great season and they're a really good team. You know, they, they play really hard and um, there's not a lot of free ice out there for either side, uh, as you can see, and um, pretty, pretty good, you know, hard fought battles, you know, both these games. We'll go next to Paul Friesen from the Winnipeg Sun. Go ahead, Paul. Blake, uh, how much of this point would you say belongs to Connor Hellebuck? Well, how good was he? He was great, Paul. He, he was great. He's, he's fantastic. Uh, he was fantastic the first game. Um, you know, uh, his, his game has definitely risen to the occasion for us. Uh, you know, when we've needed it uh, these last two games, he's been great. We'll go next to Mike McIntyre from the Winnipeg Free Press. Go ahead, Mike. Thanks, Blake. Uh, when you have like these sort of wild swings in the third period, you're ahead and you're behind and you tied it and then the overtime, does it feel does it feel like a point lost, a point gained, or maybe a little bit of both? I think we're a glass half uh, full type of team. Um, you know, we're down a goal with a couple minutes left. Uh, anytime you're down a goal and you pull your goaltender and you tie the game up, you feel like you stole a point. We'll go next to Murata Tesh from The Athletic. Go ahead, Murat. Thanks, Gregor. Uh, hi, Blake. Just a lot of swings in that game. I, I just wanted to ask about the the play in the offensive zone before the overtime goal, where I guess Riley's stick breaks, and then you guys have a chance. What happened on that play? What was the, what, what happened in that moment? Um, we just talked about it. Um, it was... You know, it was kind of like we all thought it was going to go to a different place and it ended up going. I think ultimately, um, you know, Staz makes a great play in the corner to, to win that battle and free the puck up and gets it over to Scheif. Um, you know, I think Scheif's thinking to give me a one-timer. It was a little bit hard and behind me, so I couldn't hit a one-timer. So I gave it back to Scheif. Uh, we kind of had a, you know, a three-on-two situation and uh, Scheif sucked a guy in, gave it to Staz. Staz tried to go back door to me. Um, and it just didn't, didn't pan out. So uh, those things happen. Um, had that puck gone through Matthew's legs, this game over, we win. We'll go next to Sean Reynolds from Sportsnet. Go ahead, Sean. Thanks, Gregor. Hey, Blake. Um, you know, it, it, there's a potential for you to have to go through this team when it comes playoff time and you're trying to get to where you want to go. Um, I'm interested in games like this where Connor's able to do what he's done, where you guys are able to fight your way back into the game, just the way you play them. Do, are you a guy who believes in the ability to kind of plant a seed in games like this so that the next time that team sees you come and th that kind of lives in their head, what Connor can do to them, what you guys can do to fight your way back into a game? We have to qualify for the playoffs before we can worry about, you know, who we're playing in the playoffs. So, you know, we play these guys again in a couple of days. Um, you know, I, uh, our goalie was outstanding. There's no question. I mean, that, that should be the storyline. He, uh, he stood on his head for us tonight. Um, but we also have a locker room full of guys that play their ass off too. So um, I don't think Toronto's uh, talking in their media that, you know, it was a, it was a cakewalk uh, playing, playing us tonight. Um, I think we, we played, you know, we played, played our tails off and when we needed, when we needed Helly, he, he certainly stood up to the task. So um we're going to worry about Saturday's game. Um, I think we play these guys uh, five or six more times in regular season. Um, if that all shakes out, we still happen to play them in playoff time. Um, you know, I think they'll know that uh, what, what style of game we play, we'll know what style of game they play, and um, we'll take it from there.